Hello everyone, it is Midas Touch. I hope that all is well and I hope that you had a wonderful week so far. Today I'll be doing a pick a card reading on the next big thing that you are manifesting. So go ahead, breathe in and breathe out. You can um, select the gemstone that you get called to the most to select. So the first gemstone, it is a rose court gemstone right here. The second gemstone, it is a um, green avertorine gemstone. I hope I didn't mispronounce that. I have a bit of an accent. And the third green, I said green, but the third gemstone, it is a carnadian gemstone. So for those of you who selected the green avertorine, you may want to also watch the reading for the um, red carnadian because I almost said a green gemstone for this one. And this is the only green gemstone we have. So um, let us begin. I'm excited. Um, I have already um, shuffled off camera and... Um, let us begin. All right. Thank you. If you are drawn to the Rose Quartz, or if you pick the Rose Quartz Stone, let us see what you are manifesting. All right. Let's see. So you guys are actually manifesting love. From what I can see with the Knight of Cups card, the Page of Swords card, and the Page of Cups card. So this could be love from a person who is younger than you. I get that this person doesn't necessarily have to be younger than you in terms of age. They may be younger than you in terms of their uh, personality. They may have a childlike aura or essence. And I get for some of you, you guys may be turned off by this. But looking at what I'm seeing in regards of this person, they are a very romantic person. This may be a very poetic person. They are full of energy and they can be quite talkative. They are very sweet, and this is a person that is um, very intuitive. So this may very well be a water sign man or a water sign woman. They may have air somewhere in their chart. So if they have air in their chart, they could be a Gemini sun, a Gemini moon, a Gemini rising, a Gemini Venus. They may also be a Libra sun moon rising or venus so this is someone that you may very well meet within two to three months from now or two to three years from now yes this person is um they're just a breath of fresh air and i get that some of you may not be um interested in them at first However, I would say to give this person a chance if you do encounter them because this is someone who is very sweet and romantic and they are a kind person and I feel like I'm repeating the same thing over and over. It's just a very um, kind-hearted person. Now, for those of you that did pick the Rose Quartz Stone, you are also manifesting money with the 10 of pentacles card and you guys are also manifesting prosperity so it's lots of money prosperity and wealth with the 10 of pentacles card this may be in terms of a successful business so if you already have a business within 10 months you may actually finally reap the fruits of the hard work that you've been putting in this business. I also get that others of you could be manifesting a leadership position at your current workplace. If this is not at your current workplace, this could be 
you deciding to walk away from your current workplace and accepting a more lucrative career or job. And some of you are also manifesting um, a family. For those of you that picked the rose quartz stone, I see that some of you are manifesting family, new jobs, new opportunities. For those of you that are very um, beautiful in terms of looks, I see that some of you could be manifesting a modeling contract. Yes, this will resonate for some of you. This may not resonate for all of you. Now, the other things that you guys are manifesting from my own deck, you guys have a secret admirer. This could be someone that is currently eyeing you in the workplace or just out and about. They could be in your neighborhood. They love the way that you look. It could be something about your lips that they are drawn to. I'm getting for others of you, it's something about your chest. This uh, woman or this man love the way that your chest looks. So you guys may have a very curvaceous body. You may be, um, how may I say this? You may have nice boobies. <laughs> and this person, they just... They are in awe of you. Yes, it is lust, but you know, oftentimes people, they fall in love with our looks before they fall in love with anything else. So don't take it the wrong way because you know, you got it going on. If you a man, you got it going on. If you're a woman, you got it going on. And this person, you know, they are a bit timid but I feel that they will be coming around. This will be something that you didn't know you was manifesting, but some of you guys are manifesting love from a younger person. Others of you are manifesting wealth, prosperity in regards of a modeling contract, in regards a new job, or just reaping the benefits of your business. Now, the other cards that came up for you, it is the lovers card. So I'm feeling a lot of love in this um, reading for those of you that picked the rose quartz. Ironically enough, the rose quartz is symbolizes love, unconditional love, self-love. So for those of you that are not looking for love, I get that some of you are manifesting self-love for yourself. You're falling back in love with yourself. You're learning to accept the things about yourself that you cannot change. Now, the other message that the spirit of divine light and your guardian angels wanted to get to you, it's the um, declutter. Others of you need to get rid of the old baggage, you know. And I feel called to tell some of you guys to go listen to the um, Erica Badu song, Bag Lady. You know, so with this card, it says, you will feel better and more focused if you take the time out or take the time to clear away clutter from your living and workspace. Donate what you can to help others who may need your items. Be sure to keep your schedule uncluttered as well. So for some of you guys, you guys are a bit imbalanced. This could be imbalanced mentally or just imbalanced as far as life. You are um, out of sync. So, you know, clean up your space for those that resonate. Get rid of those old items because when you get rid of the old, the new, it has to come in. So if you're having a hard time with manifesting, get rid of the items that you no longer need and, you know, work on yourself for those that this may resonate with. And the other card that came up for you guys, it's the meditate card. Some of you guys would really benefit greatly from meditating. Meditating doesn't always have to do with, you know, closing your eyes and humming. Meditation could be dancing meditation could be um breathing in and out meditation could be painting meditation could be singing 
Singing could be a form of meditation. Reading could be a form of meditation. Do more of what feels good for you. For those of you that pick the rose quartz stone. All right. Thank you so much for washing. I said washing. Maybe some of you guys need to wash your clothes. But thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like, subscribe button. I would really greatly appreciate it. Thank you. And if you feel called to some other um, decks, please stay tuned and I'll be um, proceeding forward with reading for those who pick the green Averterine stone. All right. Take care. Well, hello of you, for those of you that picked the green Averterine stone. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and hit the like, subscribe button, and leave me a comment. So let's see what is the next big thing that you guys are manifesting. For those of you that picked the green Averterine stone. Okay, let's see. So some of you... um. I get that some of you, the next big thing that you'll be manifesting, it has something to do with traveling. Okay, well, let's see. You got the Strength card and you got the Queen of Pentacles card as well as the um, High Priestess card. So the next big thing that some of you are manifesting, you guys could be manifesting traveling abroad. This could be for work or this could be for just some um, leisure for personal reasons. And I get that while you guys will be traveling, you may encounter a fire sign man or a fire sign woman who's very passionate and courageous. I also get that some of you guys are manifesting some sort of success and then others of you are manifesting a partner who is very successful and generous. This is someone that would want to spoil you. They would want to spoil you, cater to you. This could be a person that is older than you as far as a man or a woman. So this may be a sugar man. <laughs> I said sugar man. A sugar daddy or a sugar mama that wants to spoil you and you will most likely meet this person while traveling and i also get for those of you others of you uh, i get that some of you are manifesting a higher intuition this could be something that you never thought about manifesting you possibly don't think that you're even going to manifest something as such I get that your intuition is going to get stronger with the High Priestess card. Yes, so you guys are going to have one of your gifts activated. This could be the gift of clairvoyance. This could be the gift of Clara audience. This could be the gift of Clara sentience. And I'm so sorry, I think I mispronounced it, but some of you guys are going to be highly um, spiritual and you guys could get more involved into um, hmm. for some of you you guys could get more involved into reading tarot or just opening up a metaphysical shop and this metaphysical shop will be very lucrative for some of you now, the other thing that some of you guys are manifesting as far as the next big thing, it has something to do, wow, with the Four of Wands card, it has something to do with a home. So I'm getting that some of you guys may decide to finally purchase a house for you and your loved ones. And I also get for others of you, you may be manifesting a person within the next two years and you and this person will elope, get married. And it will be one of those, um, how can I say, you know how they have certain people, they meet the person, right? And within 
six months they marry the person it's just and it sounds so crazy how could you meet someone so shortly and well so soon and marry them so um quick like that so for some of you you guys can meet someone and within the next six months i get six months i also get four months for others of you and i also get within the next two years you will be meeting this person and you guys will be getting eloped where it will just be the two of you you know at the courthouse getting married and this would be a big milestone for you because that's something that you always wanted but you somehow some way felt that you were not worthy or that you were not qualified or you didn't think that you would get married or that there would be anyone that would want to marry you now the other cards that came up for you for those of you that picked the Avertorine, the green Avertorine card. And excuse me for my mispronunciation. I have an accent. So some of you guys are uh, manifesting leveling up in terms of your looks, your money, your career. So for those that laughed at you, for those that look down on you, you are going to have the last laugh because they're going to have to see you up on a pedestal now. They counted you out and they had no reasons to count you out because you guys will be leveling up. I'm seeing a lot of twos. I'm seeing a lot of fours, six, and eights. So for those of you that picked the green avatarine, you guys could be leveling up anywhere between two to four to six to eight months. This could also be two to four years from now. Your enemies, those that laughed at you. It could have been your loved one, your someone in your family that laughed at you. You know, sometimes our biggest enemies is within our household, is within our bloodline. They're going to see you level up within the next two to four years. And they're going to want to come back around and say, you know, I'm so sorry. You do with that the way that you feel called to, you know. For some of you, I would say to always be gracious. You don't have to be buddy-buddy with them again, but yeah, you just got to charge it to the game. That's how humans are, okay? Now, for others of you, um, you guys are manifesting <laughs> with this bisexual gay card. You guys could possibly be coming out of the closet, some of you may meet someone who they would not, this is someone that society would not consider to be acceptable for you. This could be a man or a woman. And this person will be someone that you will fall in love with. You never thought that you would be open to the same sex. And this could be someone that you're finding yourself falling in love with out of nowhere. Now, the other messages that I got for some of you, um, and this goes hand in hand with the first card that I picked for you, the Six of Swords card, the Journey card. So you guys will be traveling. You guys could be traveling by train. I guess some of you are traveling by air. Some of you are traveling by boat as well as bus. You guys will be going on a journey. And this will be the next big thing that you're manifesting because there are some of you guys that have been longing to travel so bad. You're so tired of the norm, the nine to five. And I get that some of you will be accepting a job offer that requires you to travel. Now, the final message that spirit of divine light and your guardian angels want you to know is do the work it's not enough to dream or pray you also got to take the positive action steps that you're being divinely guided to take consistently working on your prior priorities will make them flourish like a lush flower garden 
So I feel that there is someone currently watching. You have a dream and you've been putting that dream on the back burner. It's like you've been sleeping on yourself and you know you could be the best at what you do, but you keep putting that dream on the back burner. Now is the time for you to stop sleeping on yourself, stop sleeping on your dream. And I know you had people tell you, you don't have what it takes, you don't have the look. This is the time to just mute the haters, mute the naysayers, and you know, start working towards that dream because you never know that dream will help break generational curses some of you guys come from a bloodline where your family wasn't that rich they were not rich people they did not have much some of you went nights where you slept on a empty stomach and this skill, this talent, this dream that you have, if you work on it, you have the ability to manifest six figures for you and your loved ones if you have children or if you plan to have children. You know you want to be further in life, but yet you continue to sleep on yourself and you continue to hang around low vibrational people that don't mean you well. So this is a message for someone. Thank you so much for watching. Take what resonates, leave what does not. Keep in mind, energy is fluid. Even though I did give a time frame, some of these things may happen sooner than the time frame. And oftentimes it may happen later than the time frame. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like, subscribe button, and leave me a comment. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Bye-bye. For those of you that pick the um, Carnadian, the red Carnadian, even though it looks more orange on camera, for those of you that pick this particular gemstone, let us begin and see what is the next big thing that you are manifesting. Okay, so you got the Magician card. You got the Three of Wands. You got the Seven of Pentacles card. You got the King of Pentacles card. And you got the Four of Pentacles card. So for those of you who uh, pick the Carnadian Stone, you guys are manifesting lots of wealth and success. And I'm getting a similar message from those that picked the previous gemstone which was the Avertorine gemstone so for those of you that did pick the Carnadian gemstone I get this is someone who is uh, a powerful manifester you are someone that has the ability to speak things into existence like you are very crafty with your words and with your mind I'm getting that you are into manifesting. You read a lot of books on manifestation or you're going to be reading more books on manifesting or how to manifest at lightning speed, at quick speed, how to manifest with ease. And I'm also getting that some of you guys will be... Um, getting more followers on social media. It's something to do with people looking at you, people being drawn to you. So you guys may be into the um, blogging, the TikTok, or even into modeling. And I'm getting, for some of you, you guys could be manifesting more confidence I feel that there's going to be a glow up to you. For those of you that picked the Carnadian Stone, you guys will be glowing up. And this is going to cause people to get intimidated and this will bring jealousy, but who cares? It's what comes with the territory. And you will be the first generation millionaire. 
It's something about being the first person in the bloodline to break chains. I'm also getting some of you will be meeting someone who is a entrepreneur and they are going to take you under their wings. They are going to teach you things. Yes, they're going to teach you things and this may bring you tears of joy due to the fact that in life you were overlooked a lot. You felt like you were always the one to receive it last. Something about being the one to receive it last. Ironically enough, I'm hearing the saying from the Bible, the first will be last and the last will be first. So you guys are going to manifest receiving some sort of internship or apprentice. And this is going to have a long-term effect on you. It's going to make you stronger for this person that takes you under their wings. It's going to make you stronger. It's going to help build character and confidence within you. I see a lot of success for you. And people may not recognize you. It's something where the ones that used to, and I'm getting a similar message from the previous deck that those that laugh at you, they will be put to shame. They're going to feel bad for how they treated you. That's what you guys are manifesting. Something to do with career where you're going to be financially well off. And for others of you, I'm getting something to do with social media where you're going to be taking off on social media. I'm seeing this could be something that occurs anywhere between the next three to seven years. And I know that seems long for some of you, but for others of you, this could happen sooner. This could actually happen anywhere between the next five to seven months, actually. It's something to do with your followers growing. Now, the other message that the spirit of divine light and your guardian angels wanted you to know in regards of your next big thing that you're manifesting, it has something to do with relationships. So if you're not looking for love, I get that, but there's someone that's going to be courting you or you could be the person doing the courting. I'm getting that this will be someone who is um, honorable. If you had someone in the past that they did not honor you, this person will honor you. They will view you as a sacred thing to have. They will cherish you. They will cherish you wholeheartedly. They won't take you for granted. And I get that their family will love you. And I get that for some of you, you, they may have small children and you may not be interested in them because of that. However, I don't want you to turn this person down because they are an honorable person and their children will love you. Now, the extra messages that I get is that this person will find you to be quite unique. You're different from their usual type. And they may tell you that you are quite unique. And then you got the manifest card. So going back to the message that I said earlier, this is for someone that has the ability to bring heaven on earth. You have an incredible, powerful manifesting ability with your tongue like you literally have the ability to manifest things and it happens just as you manifest and for others of you I get that you guys got to be careful what you wish for because you have that ability to manifest things like I don't think you know how great you are in manifesting Now, the final message is to have courage. 
So for others of you, ask for help and accept help. So it's going back to this person that's going to take you under their wings. Don't be afraid to ask for this person for help. And with this card, it reads or it states, asking for help is a sign of strength as is accepting it, as it is offered to you. Very often when you ask God for help, Prayers are answered through other people. Be sure to accept this assistance as well as give it to others as you are guided. So this person who takes you under their wings, this person is considered to be a craftsmanship. They are very sharp. They are very intelligent. You may already know this person and you are afraid of asking them for help. What's the saying? A closed mouth doesn't get fed. It's time for you to, you know, don't be afraid of asking this person for help. What's the worst thing that could happen that they tell you no? And so be it. But I do get that you guys will meet someone that's going to take you under their wings. This could be someone in your current workplace or this could be another person position that you may have somewhere else where they will train you to take their position because they may decide to retire from the corporation and they got their eyes on you little do you know that so take what resonates um and i get that for a lot of you it will not resonate now it will resonate later down the line later down the line and um Hey, you can always come back to this video and tell me what you think months from now or years from now if you want to save this video. Please hit the like and subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. It definitely helps my channel. Um, please share my videos as well. It definitely helps. If you feel called to uh, donate, I would really also appreciate that. And thank you so much in advance. You have yourself a great day. Thank you.